Yeah, it's working. I think I might have just uh, forgot to a bracket or something. There was no error. The lint I didn't indicate anything as well. Okay, so it's working again. It was yeah, we removed the separating between the two canvas, the video and the eye tracking canvas. Like 15, what's that point five? Okay, we're back back in business. Uh yeah, that point five global. Okay, it's updating okay now. That uh that's fine. Looks it's overlaid. Okay, there's a bit of a delay. Remain on top of the video. Uh, what sets a uh, CTX global alpha? Let's try point nine for a sec. Didn't make much difference. Why? Yeah, because we yeah, can we get rid of it? Like all of it? Yeah, that's how it uh, used to be before. I kind of got used to it, so. Uh, that's still. Uh, yeah, the, the algorithm is working in the same way as it used to. And uh, that should be fine. The text there. Uh, yeah, we need to check it on the phone. Because I found that yeah, those errors are fine, I think. Yes, when you check on the phone, it's not always what you see here. It's not always what you get on the, you know, on actual uh, phones. We'll have to deploy and uh, actually test. I don't know if it's, um, someone on YouTube was recording a video using this as well. And, uh, they had the same problem where the canvas was, uh, misaligned. They double check, triple check the video and tracking canvas. A video and tracking canvas are aligned uh, perfectly. Yeah, because the eyes, yeah, it's important for the eyes. Did pretty well, um, Gemini advanced and they, uh, kind enough to provide uh, was it two months I think they they, they give uh, a free trial for two months for the advanced uh, and so far I haven't also run into any um, timeouts and uh, that's a good sign yeah I've like picks up on that last uh, prompt as it should. Yeah, we need to check it on the phone. Why changing it again? Yeah, we're using uh, BlazeFest and uh, TensorFlow.js. Okay, yeah, why are you adding styling? The CSS establishes transparent background for the canvas, always keeps the canvas on top, and also makes a click through to avoid interfering with any video controls. The no video controls, what are you talking about? Overlay. The video container's positioning is set to relative, and both the video and canvas elements are set to absolute with top left positioning for the perfect overlay. Yes, yeah, expected top left uh, absolute positioning might be a problem for mobile. Could uh, this uh, be a problem on a smaller mobile screen? Using absolute positioning for the overlay can cause issues on smaller mobile screens where the video might not scale properly to fit the entire screen. Let's revise the approach to create a responsive overlay that works well on all screen sizes, including smaller mobile devices. Aspect ratio. Double check that the padding bottom in the CSS matches your video's aspect ratio to avoid any stretching or cropping issues. Yeah, we don't currently have a CSS, so we don't have a separate CSS, we have a CSS for the entire project, so all the styling should be in HTML or JavaScript, which is fine. I thought we don't want this to be 100. But it gave me like generic stuff, ignoring everything else. Okay, we removed the separation thing, pushed all code into single uh, JavaScript. And uh, let's deploy and check on mobile. Yeah, so the website will be down for like 10 seconds or so. Yeah, that's the updated uh, version. And we need to check it on the phone. If you can check it for me, it would be great. I'll put the link in the chat. Yeah, it's wrong. It's still not correct. So it depends on your, I don't know how to fix it. And it's definitely doesn't look like what you have in here. No, no, no. It's really bad. Something really bad. Something's really wrong. The ad is also overlaid on top of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, we still have to fix uh, this one. There's a few problems. Go check out bionicchaos.com. There's a lot of interesting tools. They do provide your feedback. You will be helping the project a lot by visiting the website and providing your feedback. I can actually uh, do something uh, about it. Don't forget to check out the website. Lots of interesting tools and blogs. Do let me know what you think. If anything is broken, any complaints. Uh, this is a good time because it's all uh, under development.